Good morning, STN. Today we have a very special episode of DP News. Yes, we are here in Seattle, Washington. This state was named after American President George Washington, and Seattle even has its own name claim to fame. The city of Seattle was named after Chief of the Native American Duwamish and Suquamish Tribes, Chief Seattle. He was thought to be born around 1780 and was made famous for his speech about being respectful of and responsible for the land and environment. As you can see, Native American culture is very influential in the Seattle region. Today, DP News Magazine is taking a look at the aspects of Native American culture that are prevalent in Seattle. Native American culture is greatly centered around expression through art, music, and dance. David Boxley, a member of the Shimshin tribe, is a master when it comes to cultural expression. Boxley preserves his roots by painting tribal symbols, celebrating through dance, and carving impressive totem poles which are showcased worldwide. Today we visit his workshop to talk to him more about the steps he's taken to maintain Shimshin tradition. My native art uh, stuff started uh, when I was in college and I, I did a series of paintings and not, not long after that uh, I started, uh, started carving. Mostly I'm self-taught, which is not the best way to go. I took uh, lessons from two guys um, about 30 years ago for about three months. But most of the time it's just been research in museums and um, making a lot of chips and uh, just working my way through. Those old artists did not have the kind of technology or tools that we have now, the kind of steel, and, and, uh, but they just had so much knowledge and that kind of uh, information is very um, important even now. You know, and, and then you combine it with our singing and dancing and preservation of our language and culture, it all, it all just comes together just like this. You know, it's, one needs the other. Totem pole is like the pictures in a book that you're familiar with. The figures on the pole tell you the stories of that family, of that man, that clan, the great things that had happened. They were never worshipped, they never had any religious meaning ever. It would, this is still a misunderstood thing to this day. I make everything that has to do with Northwest Coast art, masks, steam bent boxes, paddles, panels, bowls, drums, uh, everything you can think of, anything you'd see in a museum pretty much, we make. If you look around my shop, you can, you can see that. David was eager to share with us the steps he's been taking to preserve his culture. Well, I teach, you know, uh, I work with my, with my sons and others uh, to, uh, to teach them how to uh, not only make art, but to uh, sing and dance and, and uh, have that pride in, in who we are. That's, that's the only thing we can do. We use the totem pole to tell our stories. And, and, we use, and the totem pole symbolizes the, that we're still here and we're alive and trying to, to, uh, trying to exist in, in modern times. It's had, it doesn't matter whether you're native like um, this young man behind me or, or all of you, or it didn't, didn't know where you come from. Every, you know, you're, it's all, you're all experiencing the same thing. In my language, uh, I'm holding on to the old way so that in my heart I can see everything that's coming and teach. Owned by Matthew Steinbrook in Pike Place Market, there lies a buried storefront known as Raven's Nest Treasure. I've had it since 1989, and we're here in the Pike Place Market, uh, right by where they throw the fish. This store has been here for uh, over 50 years. Ravens, an important figure in Northwestern indigenous culture, in are known Pike for Place returning Market treasures back to their nest, hence the name of his store. Part of my cultural heritage, I'm a small amount native person of a Chippewa tribe, Ojibwe, and but mostly um, my great-grandfather was a friend of the native people in Mandan, North Dakota. <clears throat> and so I was brought up to uh, revere the native people and honor them. Much like the ongoing fight to keep indigenous people's cultures alive, someone close to Steinbrook fought to keep a famous landmark and Kura spot breathing. Now this market was going to be torn down, bulldozed, and they were going to sell the property to 
big uh, real estate developers for a hotel. And my dad was a professor of architecture and urban planning. Victor Steinbrook was his name. And he and his friends organized to save the market from being torn down. And it took 10 years of c community activism. And that's the first dollar bill raised for the Legal Defense Fund to save the Pike Place market. I, I didn't have any plans to be in the mar Pike market, and it was three years after my dad died I ended up getting this store. Northwest Tribal Art is home to a rich display of Northwest Natives and Inuit artworks since 1981, one of the leading gallery showcase locations in the heart of Seattle. Nguyen Nguyen explains to us today how Native American culture is so beautifully unique. You know how they live from the nature? They are Native American has been living here for a long time, so their art, their traditional is what make it unique because uh, they all the art you can see here is talk about the nature. You talk about tree, the tree, the animals, and then all the spirit. That's what they ex they appreciate the nature really much. That's what makes them special. For indigenous people, art is a form of expression and connects people to the past and present. Nguyen explains how art is considered very important for storytelling and the art forms made are each unique to the artist in every way. A way to um, um, introduce the, the culture of the native to the, uh, the people because not, not everyone know about the, how the native art, they don't know about the art. So this one, because each piece telling um, a different story, so it's a way to uh, keeping down the keeping the tradition of the native art. She lastly tells us that people should be more versed in Native American culture, and how each art style is unique to the tribe. The art that is produced by these people is nothing other than spectacular, and will take you on a trip through time rich with culture. I think people should go out more and learn about this one, not just that. Uh, Sometimes it's from belongs to the Northwest, something, but right now the technology is developing. You can just go on internet and start researching about that. So they should, uh, I think people should just uh, at least try looking at it to see what uh, they are missing, right? <laughs> because they, they are beautiful, they are unique, they are original, and it's such, it's just such a waste that something is right here, is existing, but people don't know about it.